Okay, guys, how are you? Herb Palmer Jr., Lobster Lab Media, author of The Lobster and the Chicken, uh, producer of Pay Attention Films. I'm actually uh, I'm going to read you a couple sections from the book, um, The Lobster and Chicken. It's actually getting republished. So uh, another publisher is picking it up. Uh, we're working on the final editing and putting everything together, changing the format around a little bit. So I'm going to read you, I don't know, at least the first chapter. And uh, to give you a little taste of the book, so that if you want to get the whole book, you can. So the first, uh, first chapter is called Fall of the Hawk. Once upon a time, long, long ago, in a place not too far from here called Hope, New Jersey, lived a chicken. She grew up as an average chick. It seemed like a normal childhood, dolls, schools, games and dreaming of finding her handsome prince on a white horse. When she was little, she had a feeling that she was special, and she had come to this place at this time for a reason. After seven years of marriage, a lot of self-help books, and too much chocolate, it was time for a change. So she quit her average job, left her average town, sold her 401k plan, and started on a journey that would change her life. One beautiful sunny spring day, she went to find adventure and somehow, some way, discover who she was. As she looked up, a red-tailed hawk flew over her head. On this day, she was not afraid. Hawks and chickens have been feuding for years. The hawk seemed to be guiding her in a certain direction. She decided to trust herself and follow her guidance. After all, this is an adventure. Everything seemed to be as it should. The woods and the small flowing streams were relaxing and comforting. The stress of her life had done its worst. As she looked down, she smiled at her red high-top sneakers. She bought them a few years back for protection. They were more of a fashion statement and more for defense. Every time since she was a chick, the same thing happened. Dating and relationships, dating and relationships had always been a challenge. Everything seemed perfect in the beginning, and then the power struggle would begin. He would want this, and she wanted that. It seemed impossible to resolve. Years of the same pattern with different partners, and it always ended the same. They would fight, and she would leave. The chicken learned to run away and avoid conflict. After a big fight with an old boyfriend on Valentine's Day, she bought herself a red pair of high-top sneakers. Now, if she needed to escape, they would allow her a fast getaway. For many years, the old sneakers were in her closet. The fights with her husband were never enough for her to run. They always made up. Over the years, the past resentments had built up. The fights lasted longer and the hurt more. Finally, after another counseling session, she had the answer. To live the life she wanted, the journey would begin. What seemed like an inner journey, what seemed like an outer journey would become an inner journey. Lost in her thoughts, she looked up and right smack in her path was a huge old castle. Foreboding as it was, it seemed magical and intriguing. To go around the castle would be quite difficult. So she approached, approached with apprehensiveness. Hello, is there anyone there? No, there's no one here. Go away, said a voice from within. If there's no one there, then who are you? It doesn't matter. Go away. Who are you and why are you by yourself? I'm busy guarding the castle from enemies. How do you know they're enemies? Because they're outside the wall. How else do you know they're enemies? Because they're not friends. So enemies are outside the wall and friends are inside the wall. No. No what? Why am I talking to you? You're outside the wall and must be an enemy. I will not hurt you. I thought we could go for a walk. Where? Out there. If I go out there and the enemies are out there, I'm not protected by the castle. I might get hurt. And what if you don't? Don't get hurt or don't come out of the castle? Yes. Yes what? Just yes, 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 yes. Yes to your life. Yes to your freedom. Yes to your journey. Yes to you facing your fear. You're confusing me. You can't be any more confused than sitting in that big castle all by yourself watching the world go by. Maybe you're right. Maybe there are answers out there too. And who are you anyway? That's why I'm on this journey and I intend to find out. Come with me and we'll find out together. The gates open and the magical journey of the chicken and the lobster begin. As they start down the road, 12 taxis while their baggage follow them. And there's the amazing artwork by Danny, because I'm a stick figure artist. So I'm going to read you chapter two, since we're on a roll here. So chapter two is called Cold as Ice. As they travel through the fields and small valleys, 
to get better acquainted, the chicken describes her past life, as she calls it. The conscious and subconscious choices that led up to now. The lobster mostly just listened. Even though he didn't plan this journey, he sensed it would be good for him. For the past four hours, the temperatures had dropped and the plants and trees had iced up. As they turned the next corner, the sun disappeared behind a cloud and a cold wind felt like it went right through them. Then they saw them, the frozen figures that lined the road, frozen with eyes wide open like giant ice snow cubes. The cave of the, of the ice princess is just ahead. This is why I stay in the castle, commented the lobster. Don't worry, she has a message for me. I just know it, said the chicken. As they reached the cave, more icy figures lined the entrance. They slid down the frozen floor into the cave. The ice princess rose from her throne and glared at them with looks that could kill. The chicken bravely stepped forward, afraid but unwilling to back down. Why have you come here? I don't entertain guests, said the ice princess. The chicken replied, I'm on a quest for knowledge and a search for enlightenment. There's the ice princess, the picture. Very foreboding. Why did you become the ice princess? asked the chicken. The ice princess responded, no one has ever passed the ice forest that guards my palace. All that have come before you had fear in their hearts. The ice forest that protects me amplifies the fear and freezes everyone in their tracks. How is it that you are not frozen like the others, said the ice princess. The chicken answered, I was afraid, but where I was going is bigger than my fear of the unknown. For a moment, there was a shift in the space as the ice princess drew forward. I was not born an ice princess. I was born a human girl in a normal family. My father divorced my mother when I was seven. My mother was never the same and became distant and unreachable. The more her she held on to, the colder and more distant she became. My father spent most of his time with his new family and didn't have time for me. Sensing a slight touch of warmth, the chicken asked, did you have friends? The ice princess admitted, I had friends when I was young. As I grew older, I pushed them away. If I keep my distance, I can't get hurt. I learned not to feel and my heart grew colder. One cold day, my last boyfriend left me for someone else. I had a fight with my mother and that night she was killed in a car accident. That day I became the ice princess and no one until you has been close to me since. The chicken dared to approach. So things happen for a reason. I'm not frozen because I face my fears. You said your heart was frozen and you're going to die. So your answer is to forgive. Your choice is to die or learn to forgive. In a puff of breath, the ice princess confided. I don't know how, I didn't know I had a choice. I thought the way things are is just the way they are. So forgiveness is a choice. The ice princess thought for a moment and said, everything I've ever touched turned to ice. My heart is frozen and will stop soon. I don't have much time left. The answer you seek is forgiveness. I could never forgive, and the more resentment I held, the colder I became. Hurt and anger became become colder if not released. If you can't forgive, you will never be free. No one has ever escaped from my ice cave. If you bring this message to the world, I will let you leave. I promise, said the chicken. One of the twelve taxis is left behind as a gift. The lobster started a fire in the taxi for the ice princess to warm up. The lobster gathered firewood and sticks for the fire in the taxi. The chicken arrived. The chicken arranged the sticks and woods as chickens do. The chicken helped the ice princess light the fire. As the fire warmed, the cave started to melt. The warmth brought memories and feelings. When we remember, we feel, and when we feel, we cannot stay frozen and start to live again. The lobster did not need a special message for himself. He gained enough wisdom from the lessons imparted to the chicken. It was much less painful that way. As they left, the ice princess continued down the path. The temperatures warmed up. A conversation developed about forgiveness. How can we forgive someone that hurts you? Asked the lobster. What about an eye for an eye? You hurt me, I hurt you more. As the chicken thought about the question, her first thought was, it's a choice. When someone hurts you, you have a choice. You make a choice to hurt them back. The chicken felt a 
cool chill move up her arms and spine like a message had been received. So there's a choice that's made at some level. We don't have to argue or fight or kill at most extremes. We choose to. The conversation continued and the lobster and chicken learned more about each other. How their thoughts worked and how they made choices in their lives. The choices led them to all their experiences, victories and defeats. With a choice, there are consequences. Even when you choose to do nothing, it's still a choice. The lobster learned to fight early in life. He was taught that winning was everything. Looking back at his choices, he realized his walls kept him alone, protected, but still alone. The chicken also made choices, and that those choices have consequences. Conflicts and fights don't go away by avoiding them. They pile up until you can't avoid them any longer. Chicken also learned early in life to avoid conflict and walk away, or sometimes run away. All conflicts and arguments were swept under the rug. When the pile is big enough, we choose to clear out the dirt under the rug and find love and healing. It's all a choice. So that's the second chapter, you guys, from the Lobster and Chicken. Again, it's getting redone. It's going to have a new cover. Um, and we're excited about it, so we'll keep you posted. And we'll keep you in the loop. Uh, please like and subscribe if you like the content. That way you'll get the email messages. And uh, we'll keep doing our thing. So Herb Palmer Jr., Lobster Lab Media, thanks and have an amazing day.